What a wonderful moment. We are witnessing an incredible gift from the Lord because we are confident in this moment that it's God who has brought you both together. Our wedding day is finally here. It feels so surreal and exciting to experience those words to become a reality today. Meeting you was truly an answer to my prayer and I thank God for bringing me the best friend, a strong spiritual teammate and the only person I can imagine sharing all my life's moments with you. I feel free to completely be myself. You challenge me daily to become, to be my best and encourage me to grow in every aspect of life. Harrison, you are quick to love and quick to forgive. You are a strong, confident man who knows who you are and who your savior is. You are the love of my life, my soulmate and best friend. I adore your heart and its pure intentions. You fulfill my heart with abundant joy. You walk by my side and encourage me to pursue and grow my relationship with Christ. I promise to always keep Jesus first and you second. Harrison, I see the way you treat Mallory with such love and respect, and I truly don't think I could have handpicked a better guy for her. Thank you for making my best friend so happy. So I'm just going to end this by saying congratulations, and I hope you guys have a long life full of happiness and love. All right. <laughs> you like? Yeah. Mallory, you are lively, fun, and most importantly, you love Harrison. I'm excited to see where life takes the both of you together. Remember, I am always in your corner and always just a phone call away if you ever need anything. Oh my gosh. You <laughs> are <laughs> Harrison, do you take Mallory to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise before God and these witnesses to love her, to comfort her, to honor her, to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? I do. Hey, Mallory, this man that you're holding his hand, do you promise before God and these witnesses to love him, to comfort him, to honor him, to keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him as long as you live. I do. As a minister of the gospel, I get to pronounce you husband and wife, and Harrison, you may kiss your bride. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great, great joy to be the very, very first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Harrison Bosby. You are kind and you are generous. Harry, you've always welcomed me as a sister and I couldn't be ex more excited to gain one today. Mallory, you are strong and positive and you will always put everything down to help someone and those around you. You're always willing to help. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Mosby. However, it cannot be summed in a few words. Even so, I promise to every day try and show you just how much I cherish you and how full my heart is to say I do. Parents and Alice, I promise to love you with unconditional love. I promise my heart to you and only you. I promise to always support and encourage you. I promise to never take advantage of our love because it is a promise between us and God. I pray we are an example of God's goodness and grace. 
From this day forward, I promise to love, support, and honor you. I'm so excited to spend today, tomorrow, and the rest of my life with you by my side. I love you, and I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. Thank you so much for loving me. Love forever, Harrison. Dear Lord God, today is a very special day today because Harrison and I are becoming one. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have given me and Harrison. Amen. And so, Lord Jesus, would you continue to bless them? You have saved both of these precious people that we love. And then, Father, you've brought them together to continue a legacy. So, Lord, thank you. We praise you. We love you. We believe in you. And I pray they would trust you. I pray, Father, they would hold each other all their days. Amen.